my typical day is not um, predictable. You can't predict it, depending on what kind of day it is. If it's a production day, then you know that day I am going to be probably have an early call or a late call, depending. If I have an early call at 6 a.m., which I usually would have for a production, then I know I'm going out with my crew members and we're going to shoot. Now, you are not sure if the artist or whoever you're going to be working with will be there on time, but you know, at the end of the day, you're working around the person's time or you have to have a backup of whatever you do just in case the person doesn't appear. So it's running around probably in the sun or somewhere you know and trying to put you know um, images and shots and putting your script together to get whatever you want to shoot if it's not a shooting day then you know it's probably a paperwork day where you have to sit down and do a lot of writing or do a lot of um, um, pre-production for whatever production that is going to be happening probably the next day or the next week or whatever you have to plan ahead so I'm always on you know my feet or I'm always you know sitting down and typing and working towards whatever is happening next so it, it's it's it gets difficult sometimes especially when we have events like say around the Christmas period you know my typical day will be like a 5 a.m. call to like a 4, 4 a.m. you know <laughs> then I have to go home go and sleep for about two hours and get back onto the location or the venue where we're doing the event you know as early as probably 7 a.m. and you're on your feet 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 I'm um, directing and calling the shots till the next morning of about 3 a.m. like I remember during the Christmas time for about four days it was back to back I just had about four hours sleep or less you know every day back to back because we had to do events that you know were happening almost around the same time